Are you ready for the next evolution in portable gaming? Rumors are swirling, and if you're a fan of PlayStation, you won't want to miss what we've uncovered about a potential PS6 handheld. Let's dive into the details. The gaming world is buzzing with whispers about Sony potentially launching a new handheld device by 2027. Picture this, a device that natively runs PS5 and even PS6 titles without relying on streaming. This could be a game changer. Let's explore what we know so far. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the latest addition to the PlayStation family. First, let's take a quick walk down memory lane. Back in 2004, Sony made its debut in the handheld market with the PlayStation Portable, or PSP, as we all know it. Why is PlayStation Portable so important at this stage in the game? After building tremendous equity in the home console space, we began to look at the mobile market. We waited to introduce a product at the right time, and we believe the timing now is right. So, what is PlayStation Portable? It is a handheld video game system that offers 3D CG games incorporating high quality, full motion video similar to PlayStation 2. PlayStation Portable is as revolutionary as PlayStation, but in different ways. It was a technical marvel for its time, shifting over 80 million units. While it didn't dethrone Nintendo, it proved that Sony had what it takes to create a solid mobile gaming experience. Fast forward to 2011, the PS Vita launched with impressive specs like an OLED screen and dual analog sticks. What you've come to know as NGP, our next generation portable, is officially named PlayStation Vita. However, high pricing and limited third-party support meant that it didn't reach the sales heights of its predecessor, leading to its discontinuation by 2019. So, what does Vita mean? Vita means life, and we're confident that PlayStation Vita will be the first product that truly blurs those lines between entertainment and your real life, empowering you to play, interact, and connect like never before. Then came the PlayStation Portal in 2023, a streaming device for PS5 games via remote play that surprisingly exceeded expectations. This renewed interest in handhelds could signify an exciting comeback for Sony. Now let's talk hard-hitting specs. At the core of this rumored PS6 handheld is something called the Canis SoC, crafted for power and efficiency. Expect incredible performance with specs like four AMD Zen 6C cores and an RDNA 5 GPU, promising a quality gaming experience straight to your palm. Here you go, here is a render of AMD Canis, the APU in the PlayStation 6 handheld, and it comes with four Zen 6C cores in a single CCX. But then there's also two more low power Zen 6 cores that are specifically, from what I saw in documentation, for running the operating system and keeping all non-gaming tasks away from the main gaming cores. Now, this Four core gaming CCX will power a 16 compute unit RDNA 5 integrated GPU. And if that doesn't sound that strong, please remember in the PlayStation 6 consoles, that will be roughly 60% faster per compute unit compared to the PS5 before we even start talking about things like clock speed, bandwidth, or any other special sauce that Mark Cerny is working on. Imagine clock speed zooming between four to five gigahertz and a staggering performance that could reach between 55% to 75% of the PS5 capabilities. Keen gamers among us can picture running graphics with ray tracing features, enhancing immersion like never before. With specifications like these, the real world performance promises to be nothing short of stunning. Visualize games running at 120 frames per second or using FSR 4 upscaling for superior visual quality. Best of all, the PS6 handheld is rumored to fully support PS4 and PS5 games tailored for seamless cross-platform play. This means that if you've invested in PlayStation Classics, 
they're ready to go on this new device, possibly with enhanced performance too. And get this, two performance modes will allow a smooth transition from portable play to docked mode with visual upgrades. So, what's this going to cost? Reports hint at a price range between $399 and $499, strategically positioned to compete with technologically advanced rivals like Nintendo and high-end PC handhelds. Well known that PlayStation's OS is more efficient and easier to use than Nintendo's, and has less constraints, actually, would be a better way to put it. But anyways, if I take the performance of the PlayStation 6 handheld that I leaked, a video you should all check out if you haven't already, by the way, that is to say, we take this product that has a much faster CPU than the Switch 2, and then the same number of compute units as an Xbox Ally X, but with a wildly better RDNA 5 architecture and a 50% wider memory bus that also has faster RAM, I found with my scratch math that in docked versus docked mode, the PlayStation 6 handheld should be nearly three times faster than the Nintendo Switch 2. Before we even consider the fact that FSR 4 or possibly even FSR 5 will be used by the PS6 handheld. And that should be wildly better than the nerfed DLSS 3.1 in the Switch 2. Remember, the some games on the Switch 2 are even using FSR 1 because they couldn't get DLSS working well enough. When you consider that the Switch 2 is running DLSS 3.1 or sometimes FSR 1, and that the PlayStation 6 handheld will run FSR 4 or 5, which is already competitive with the latest DLSSs that are way better than 3.1. And there's even talk of a cheaper model aimed at current PS4 owners. As the competition heats up, Sony must deliver not just in hardware, but also in exclusive titles that gamers can't resist. However, it's not all smooth sailing. Sony will face significant challenges like battery life and thermal management in a compact design. Balancing efficiency with performance will be essential. Plus, standing out in a bustling market filled with competition will require Sony to deliver exceptional hardware, innovative pricing, and compelling game titles. The potential PlayStation 6 handheld represents a thrilling leap into the portable gaming future. With cutting-edge technology and a vast library of loved games at your fingertips, is this the device that changes everything? We want to hear from you. What features would you love to see in a new PlayStation handheld? Let us know in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe for more exciting updates on all things gaming. See you next time.